morning guys, June 9th, 2023. So anyway, I got a call from a guy. He's got a um, hot water storage tank that heats his hot water from his boiler. And he says um, it's been working at times and sometimes it don't work. Right now he's got no hot water. But if he runs his hot his heat, he'll have hot water. So I think it's got something to do. Maybe he's got a zone valve that's not firing the burner or something's not firing the burner if it's running just for hot water. And he's got a storage tank there. So there's a zone off the storage tank. It could be um, zone valves. I'm not sure. So I haven't never been there. One quarter mile. Turn right on Akashner's Avenue. So last time, he called me a couple of days ago. I told him, call me when it's not working. So I could test things and see what's going on. If it's the thermostat in the uh, storage tank that's bad, I could check that, see if it's calling. If it's calling and it's not firing the burner, we could find out why it's not firing the burner. So you got a lot of this shit. You got to call me when it's when it's acting up and it's not working, so I could test it. You call me when it's working. Uh, I can't be, tell you for sure what the problem is. I'd be guessing at it, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to. We don't want to be guessing. We want to make sure we know what the problem is. So when we when we find the issue, then we know for sure that we can fix it, right? We know what the problem is. That's always a good a good way to look at things. You want to you want to see when it's acting up. Find out exactly what the problem is, and then. I'll go from there. Because if not, you end up changing parts for no reason and pissing people off, and I don't want to do that. I try to, you know, I make mistakes like everybody else, but I try to do it, uh, do the best I can, and try not to make mistakes. Do things the best way possible so you could keep the mistakes to a minimum, I should say. Everybody, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, right, Molly? Right, Molly? Miss Molly? Let's see if we can help out this guy, Molly. I've been having nothing but trouble with this shit. Yeah, it could be that this is the issue here, these two. Let's see if it's calling. Nothing but nothing but problems. Replaced. My well pump replaced. Really? Three months ago. Every month it's something new with this system. Let's see if we can figure this thing. It seems to be working now, but so you did you did turn uh well, I got my shower running now, but I don't have hot water coming out of it. No hot water. It might be this this flipping thing might be a piece of shit right here. This is what your problem is right here. See this fucking thing? I bet you this is the problem. It got hot here. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, like, I it's can, this. I can feel hot. Yeah, I can feel the heat. So it's this thing that's a problem. The tempering valve. It's this. Because feel how hot that is, yeah. right? And then it's only going up at 90. See it? So we got to change this this piece of shit. Let's see if I can loosen it up. I might be able to uh, loosen it up and change this. It's only going up at 90 degrees. That's why you got no hot water. Yeah, and that drops to, like I said, I've seen it down at 80. All right, show your water off upstairs right. for now. We'll get it. See if we can. I we can. I might have to. I might have another one of these in the truck. We'll just have to replace it or take the fucking thing out. One of the two. Wife that are yelling at me that they can't take hot showers. Yeah, this thing's just. Let's see what I got in the truck. See if I got anything like that. Uh, I might have a mixing valve. We could just take it out and change it. I'm not sure. But this is this is what the problem is. This is nice and hot here, right? And it's not be, it's not being mixed going up. That should be like one one thirty or one 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 twenty five yeah, going up. It also so, won't kick the 
Like if you turn that up, it won't kick the thermostat to like. Oh, but look at it quiet. Yeah. Well, you only want to get it so hot. I mean, let's let's see if this thing is is calling for one for one thing. Okay, let's okay. make sure. Stop, let's see if that thing. I think it's the skull valve. That's the issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I said, that temperature gauge is up and down all the time. All right, so let's see what we got here. I don't have any voltage. Turned up there. Let's see if we got shit out voltage here. All right, so we got 26 volts there, right? Yeah. And the second I turn on the, like I said, the shower, you'll just see that. Okay, look at that. Yeah. See, it definitely. So, so it's hot water in there. All right, let's see now. Let's see. These two, three and two, should be an end switch. I'm just gonna check and see. They might not be calling to fire the burner. Okay, let's check these two. On continuity, let's see. I'll tell you if you got a bad head here. Yeah, see, open line. These two should be connecting, and they're not. So you got a bad head. Oh no, it's connecting now. It takes 90 seconds. Okay, see, it, it, the head's okay. You hear it? Yep. Okay, so that's working. Boy, that thing's kind of weird that it went up that quick right there. Huh. Like you said, it means. All right, hang on it's a second. Hang on a second. We know that this zone valve is working because I just turned up. I just turned up the uh, the storage tank thermostat. Okay, we know that part's working. I turned it up. Right. Because like I said, if I turn on the, if I put on my shower right now, you're gonna watch this just drop. Okay, so we so know we we know we got hot water. Well, let me go try that again. Just yeah, go ahead. Because I know that's hot there. It's probably this mixer. Go ahead, turn the shower on. Turn it on! I know this part's working. I think it's just skull valve that's no good. We got a valve there to shut off. And... Shower's on. She's dropping right down. Yeah, all right. So it's this valve that's bad. Let me see if I got one in the truck, okay? Right. Shut it off. Hot and cold going into the tank. Should be able to break it here and get the pressure out of it. Why don't you, uh, there's the hot going up to the mix. Why don't you just go open up? You got any faucets that are just hot, just on the hot side? Yep. Just open it up and see if it stops. We got the cold off, just to take the pressure off it. And uh, I'm just gonna put a cap on this. And we're just gonna tie this together, take it right out, I don't have one. Is there any water? It to have dropped pretty quick. Okay, nothing, nothing come out? Uh, yeah, Some? None. No? Nothing. Okay. Let's see if I could um, take it the flip out of there. I hate these things for this reason. I don't have one in the truck, so. No, if you do it, just let me do it. You could adjust it right at the tank there, yeah. you know? And why the hell not? You got any kids? Young I, kids? I do. Just have to watch out they don't get burnt when they're taking a shower. Yeah, I'll uh, make sure I test them right here first. These are teenagers. Teenagers? Yeah. Not too worried about it. Well, we could Do we could make some stupid. adjustments on the shower upstairs to uh, only can go so hot, anti scald There should be settings on that. You should be able to set this tank by the thermostat on the tank here, cut it way back to where you want it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and then just use. And then you just don't need this thing. Rocket science. 
it was my house, I'd take this fucker out a long time ago. Nothing but problems. I was actually thinking about going to a, an electric hot water. No, this is better. Isn't it the summertime? Just keeping this thing heated up all the time and barely use it? Oh, it only, it's only going to heat up when this thing calls for heat. You think electric's going to be cheaper? I figured, in, you know, in the summer. I would stay with this. You're not going to get... Once once, once I take this shit the hell out of here, you're going to like it. Okay. Believe me. Try it, and then... Try it, and then... Try it, and then see what happens, okay? If then, if you're not... If you're not... You still want to go electric after you... You're not going to want to. Maybe. So you want to sit... You're trying to save the planet, are you? No, no. I just, uh, just always hear my boiler kicking on in the, in the summertime, and I'm like, why is it doing that? Well, just to keep we could adjust that low limit down. It's probably kind of set high. It's probably set at like 160. Let's take a look at that. Don't get me wrong. In the winter, I like my heat. In the summer, hearing it kick on pisses me off. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna hit pick pick on yeah, kick on I mean. to so heat this up. Yeah, that's that's why I was thinking electric might be maybe more efficient. But I don't you tell me. I mean, I'm not gonna replace anything anytime soon. But we just gotta take a little bit of water on this vacuum breaker. Let me get this straightened out first, and then we'll worry about the other thing after. Okay. All right. Just yell to me when you need me. I will. All right. Follow when I need you. Right, let's not take some water off this uh, vacuum breaker here. Maybe. Maybe not. Shut the thing off. I'm just gonna put a female adapter with a plug on there. Couple of couplings and a, a drip elbow and solder this stuff up, and we'll put a female adapter and a plug in there. Can get some water out of this vacuum, lower it down a little bit. And loosen this up. It should drop the water level down a little. female adapter and a plug here so don't build pressure and we got a bleeder there so don't build pressure you just put caps on there sometimes uh, if it builds pressure the solder will blow out I'm just gonna put some I'm just gonna tie it in direct and he's just gonna set the temperature of this tank where he wants it I don't have to go through that tempering valve I know that the zone valve's kicking the boiler on, so that's not an issue. Is 
what they call a jet elbow, drain elbow, all build pressure. Rocket science. Yeah. Yeah. It's doing it, both up, doing it to both. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just one. Yeah. All right, so it's probably. I mean, I'm sure that's probably shit too. But well, let's change this first, and then we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot my torch. I should do it for a guy. Just gonna have to adjust it with the thermostat on this heater. The temperature he wants. I would say probably right, right there is where it should be. There's a mark there where it should be at, and I set it there. We'll have to adjust it if he needs it. I'll show him. I'm gonna redo this too. I took this out so the water would go to that level down below.
I might not have needed this, but it's always better safe than sorry. You ever hear that saying? Better safe than sorry. I believe in that. this up and then we should be able to turn the water on. Turn on the cold first. And then turn on the hot. Alright, you want to try it? Whoa! Go ahead and try it. That's where that should be set at. You could always turn it down if you want, but I don't have any leaks. Try in the sinks. All right, let me show you down here where this where I put the where the setting should be at. See this dial here? Yep. See this white spot? That's where it, that's where it should be. Okay. Okay. It was it was way over here. Well, yeah. So was, you're gonna find that if the yeah, if the, if the water's too hot, you gotta turn it down. Yep. But so yeah, no, I had it another way because I was trying to get hot water. Yeah, because you were going but, through that mixer. Yeah. But now we took the mixer out. Whatever's in this tank is gonna go right upstairs, nice and hot. All right. You're not playing around with that bullshit. All right. And it's nice and warm. We know the zone valves working. Yeah, check the second floor one. This is not calling right now, so it's not going to heat up. The water's still hot in the tank. He had it, like, way up to try to go through that temper valve. Shower was hot. It's not, uh, doesn't look all crusty, but who the hell knows. I just left that job. I took the temper valve out from that water heater, and, um... You can just set the water heater for, I showed him where we should set it, and I showed him how to set the anti-scald valves on the shower if he wants to adjust the shower valves, so they only go so hot. I take the handle off, and there's a cap that you take off, and there's a little set screw in there. You turn the handle where you want it, so the handle only goes so hot, you know, and then you turn that set screw in, and that'll stop the handle from going any further with those type of temp uh, Simmons valves you've got there. I went over that with him. He's going to let the water stabilize in the tank and give it a week. And then if he wants to set the valves, he's going to call me back or he's going to do it himself. Uh, or he might just want to just turn just turn the valve so hot, you know, when you're in the shower. He's going to let all his, his family know about it. The water's going to be a little different uh, settings on the handles when you take a shower. You just can't go in there and turn it all the way up now. You're going to have to, you know... Turn it, turn it to where you want it and adjust it before you get in the shower. So it's going to be a couple of days, a little tricky for a couple of days. So he's, he's okay, he's on board. I explained everything to him and he wants, to, this is what he wants to do also. So this way he is, he ain't going to be fighting and not getting in. He's only get 80 degree water going up to the showers. Uh, that tempering valve, as soon as he turned the tub on, it would drop right down to 80. And I didn't have one tempering valve in the truck. I'd rather not even put them in. They're nothing but nothing but problems. So I just took it out. Just take it out. All right, Molly, we're heading home today. Is that enough of this shit? I had enough of it already. Going home. Yeah, I'm going home, Miss Molly. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs>